everybody, Simon here. Do Thai girls ever fight over customers, over you? Yes, they do. Patea, Soy7, my second bar I was managing. Every month, the girls in the bar, quite often, a few of them would leave, <coughs> they'd get bored and they'd move on to other bars. They'd get the salary, move on, and they'd be in sort of tribes, gangs, two or three of them would go. But July time, August, still rainy season, low season, not too many customers about. We lost a few girls. Three, two, two new girls came. So we had ten on the books, I think eleven with the two of them come in. Didn't know these girls, didn't know much about them. Mama San sorted it all out, got them in on the payroll. Don't even remember their names. Early one evening, about seven in the evening, <clears throat> guy came in, bar find a girl, took a girl out, off he went. Next day, he came back, same girl, bar find, off he went. Third night, this was one of the new, this is one of the two girls. He came in third night. We had roundish tables that were quite high with quite high bar sort of stalls around them. Not many people in the bar, quite a few of the girls. I was talking to a customer close to the front of the bar. He was drinking Heineken. I remember this and his bottle was half full. I remember that. I'm sat here, stood actually, front of the bar ahead of me, guy here. In walks this guy, <clears throat> and the girl he'd bar find for the two nights came running forward from behind me. Big cuddle. Pleased to see him, thinking he's going to bar find her straight away. No. Now I've told you before. <laughs> I've advised you before. I've recommended that if you pay bar, you, you take a girl from a bar for whatever reason, don't go back to the same bar and pick another girl. The girl you've been with will lose face because the other girls will look at her as if she's no good. Unless you've gone into a bar, spoke to the Mama Sam, the first time you've gone into the bar and said something like, I'm going to take every girl from your bar and arrange and tell all the girls and announce it and so everyone knows, then nobody loses face. But if you go in, a girl you've taken and then pick another girl, she's going to lose face, she might get angry. I recommend you don't do this and I strongly recommend you don't do this. I've only, this only happened in my bar once, but there's another story after from a bar close to mine. I've heard it happen all around. It's like two guys fighting over a girl in your own country in a bar. I'm stood there, customer sat down, half a bottle of Heineken. Girls run up to this other customer and he said to her, pushed her to the side, almost right next to me at the table. No. Now instead of explaining why or anything, he immediately, he'd already made his mind up. He didn't have a drink, didn't order a drink. He pointed to another girl, beckoned her over and said, pay bar. I want to bar find you now. I don't want to order a drink, I want to bar find you. So this poor girl, he hasn't told her why he's dumping her. He hasn't told anyone what he's doing. He's just ordered this girl to pay bar. This girl's very hesitant. It's the friend. These are the two new girls. These are best friends. Well, I assume they were best friends. And the girl, Instead of saying, no, you've just been with my best friend for the last two nights. Says, okay. And the second, and this is, I'm within two meters of all this. The second she said, okay, the girl that he just dumped, I looked at her and I saw her eyes turn bright red. <laughs> the devil came out. She grabbed the bottle of Heineken from right in front of me and this guy and launched at this girl 
my reactions and the guy next to me, how he got over the table. We managed to stop the bottle contact in this girl's head. We all ended up in a pile on the floor, but we disarmed this girl. Best friends, she's just about to try and bottle her on the head with her. And the Heineken was tipping, I remember it all over my arm. Cow, I had to change my shirt. She went for her with a bottle. She just grabbed the nearest article. Her best friend had just done the dirty on her. And she went for her. The guy that caused all this, and this, if this ever happens to you, if you end up in this situation, or if you end up in a bar and the bottles start flying, get out of there. Even if you've got a bin, just get out of the bar. Come back later and sort the bin out and pay the bill, your bill. But get out of there, because if police are around, they will just pile in and all hell breaks loose. But this girl, we were all on the floor. We got up and took the bottle off the girl and um, frozen. My mama son stepped in. The guy legged it, gone. My customer, we gave him a free bottle of Heineken. He'd already drunk half, that cost me, cost a bar. He got a fruit, but anyway, he'd helped. Two girls, Mama San, I mean, Frozen was very handy. She wasn't close enough to be handy then, but she was handy. She took the two girls out of the bar, up the road, and sacked them, and left them fighting having a go at each other. I don't know what happened, but I could imagine they ended up in a fight. Sacked them both on the spot. Bad news for the bar. Guy got a free Heineken. Guy legged it. Those girls were fighting over you, a customer, because the customer had done the wrong thing. Only time that happened really in my bar, sort of with a bottle anyway, with between girls. I was outside my bar, I can't remember what time of the year it was, but across the road was where I parked my motorcycle, they were all lined up. I was sat on my motorcycle, watching the world, watching Soy 7 go by. Late at night, 11, 12 at night, just up from my bar, where the road became bars opposite each other. There was a couple of bars on the opposite side of my bar, a couple of steps up, full of girls. Quite often, Customers had come down, especially in low season, girls had run out of the bar and they'd all be tugging the, the potential customer, trying to get them into their bar. Don't know, in 2017 if it's the same, Soy 8 used to be huge for that. But these girls were all tugging and I remember looking up, the girls were tugging, there was a gang of guys, it was really quiet with customers. The guys went into the bar not up the steps the bar on the same side of my bar and then all hell broke loose bottles from the up the step bar full empty they were just flying across the road at those customers at the girls because they hadn't gone in with that with that uh, those girls the one girls had lost the battle bottles flying girls coming out at each other fighting over customers because of low season it wasn't the same as in my part but all hell broke loose and within minutes the guys legged it they went up the road within minutes there was some police they just appear and well yeah all the girls fighting what a mess broken bottles everywhere don't know if they were full waste of money if they were full all over soy seven but within 20 minutes all cleaned up back to normal no girls carted off by the police just everyone told calm it down the same girls that were fighting were facing each other again situation defused that happened regular in low season if there were close bars i've seen it many a time bottles flying or customers taunting the girls i've even seen the girls throw bottles at customers or potential customers uh, it happens it happened a lot in soy 8 
Oh dear. But yep, yeah, so. Do girls fight over customers? They certainly do. At certain times of the day, night, year, low season. Lots of fights can break out. But this is 15 years ago. It might be totally different. Human nature might have changed. Customers might have changed. The girl's mentality might have changed. Maybe you can tell me. Put some comments below. Does that still happen? Do the girls still fight? It'll be interesting. 2017, or the last year or so, put your comments down. Do the girls fight over customers? They certainly did then. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you soon on the next video. Bye for now.